I want to get into this. So, okay. So first, did somebody reach out to you? No. Did you see it listed? Did you drive by the window? I mean, how do you, how do you, because again, I'm guessing, I'm guessing these aren't on the MLS, but maybe it was. It got to the MLS. Oh, it did. It got there eventually. So this was a project where you look at a lot of the older uh, New England cities or or East Coast cities. Yeah. A lot of them are older. They have um, public assets, you know, yeah. police stations, fire stations, fill in the blank, right? Sometimes they yeah. don't knock them down. Sometimes they're just like, nope, we got to build from scratch. We need a better location, something a whole lot yeah. bigger. Doesn't fit right. on the lot. The, the, city, the city's changed. It can't get around anymore. Yep, yep, yep. Exactly. So um, we're always looking for assets like that. And so this particular asset, uh, I had heard about maybe two, eh, a little over a year ago, I'd heard about this asset. Um, I knew that they were going through some remediation because cities will often spend well into the six figures to remediate all the things that you typically find in these buildings. Yeah, like asbestos. And asbestos, these, yeah. lead. Yeah, they don't know, want to all, sell it. They correct. want to remove all that upfront. There's too sense. many disclosures. There's too much liability, Right. So they look at it and they say, we want to do all of these things. So they do all of those things. Well into the six figures, they took care of all of that stuff. Okay. So, so what am I getting? Clean up, I'm buying basically clean. They're, yeah, they're selling you an up-to-code level property. Still a shell, they're, but it's up-to-code. Yep. They're, selling, they're selling me something that is essentially a biohazard free. There you go. Well, that's – and that's important, right? Especially Thanks. asbestos, right? You have to go and do one of those cleanings. That's That's not cheap. Yeah, I mean, all in, they spent one hundred and fifty-seven thousand dollars doing that project there. So they spent one fifty-seven, and then they sold it to you for two hundred. Correct. So basically, they got forty-three grand. Correct. Nice. Yep. All right. I mean, I think the big thing for them was, you know, um, so I watched it. I'd watch it. I watch it. It was on their city website, and. I was kind of like, what was it listed for? Sorry. I'm just trying to get the picture. So it was listed for one something, 150, 200, somewhere right around there. All right. So it wasn't a crazy high list. No, uh -uh. nope. Okay. Nope. It was very reasonable. Um, Saw it and then I I couldn't get access to it. And then I was traveling. I was like, oh, and then it, the auction closed, no bid. And then the city council votes to say, we're going to put this out to market. And I'm like, "Uh uh-oh. Because now if it goes out to market and now it's not bid, now I have to compete with the market. Right. And I knew this asset. I knew the property. Um, what it was really funny was I had lost track of it and my agent sent it to me and go, hey, look at this. I was like, oh my word, they put it on the market. Oh, okay. 